Hey everybody, thought I'd make a quick video um, showing kind of the, the progress that I've made so far on replacing the top of our 2004 Coleman, I think this is a uh, Cheyenne pop-up trailer. Um, like most people's pop-ups, the ABS plastic that's on the outside of these roofs is not very good and tends to rot away in the sun. So we pulled that off last week and uh, I've been kind of scrubbing this thing down, cleaning it up, and uh, bondoing in some spots that had a little bit more uh, damage to them than before. So there's a couple spots that I've gone around and patched up, and after I clean it up maybe one or two more times, I'm gonna start putting the T-Rex liner on top, which is a bed liner. Um, that I've seen other people use with a lot of success. So we'll see how mine goes. I'm a little worried uh, because it's my first time doing something like this and uh, interested to see how it works on our camper, but I will let you know how it goes and we'll see, see the results. <laughs> Okay, so here is the top of our pop-up camper after I've sprayed it with the T-Rex liner. It was actually pretty darn easy to use and apply via the, uh, the included gun. Um, I purchased one kit off of Amazon and it was enough to do the whole roof but just barely. In fact, you can kind of see that I've got a couple spots that I think I'm gonna maybe scuff up and fill in a little bit more. I've got a couple little spots where it wasn't completely smooth, and that was my fault with, uh, with prepping the surface. I should have filled in every little nook and cranny, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go back and maybe do one more coat, scuff up a couple places, and add a little bit more just to be safe. But it looks great. It was easy to apply. You know, my, my uh, words of, of advice would be to make sure that your surface is as smooth as you want it to be because this coating, while it does waterproof and protect, it doesn't fill in uh, imperfections. It's not a filler. And so you can see kind of here underneath where some of the fiberglass was uneven. I'm gonna to have to scuff that up and do another quick coat to make it nice and smooth. There, there's a perfect example. So I didn't fill in these little gaps here as well as I should have, thinking, ah, oh, you know, the coating will probably fill that in. It did a little bit, but it, it's not meant to be a filler. It's meant to coat and, and and cover a smooth surface. So I'm gonna rough that up and do a little bit of patchwork and then spray another can of this stuff on there and I will be good to go. Um, really happy with the way it went on and uh, would totally do it again. And it looks 100% better than it did before. So yeah, uh, if there's any questions, you can reach out. Otherwise, don't be afraid to do it. Just make sure you prep really good and uh, you'll be set.